Opa, welcome back to Ejected Greek for another episode. And today we have something very special and traditional to Greeks. And what we have is a beautiful lamb roast with lemonades patates. Yes, what that means is we're going to have a roasted lamb with potatoes infused in beautiful olive oil and lemon. And of course, we're going to cook it all on the Crossway barbecue. In all, it should take us around close to two hours to cook our lamb roast with our potatoes. Our leg of lamb. It's around two kilos, so what we're going to do is get it ready now. So we're going to get a little bit of lemon, so we'll put a little bit of that just in there, just like that, because we want to keep the rest for the potatoes. So, well, you know what? We'll make it all now. Bang, put all the lemon in. Now, olive oil. We've got around 150 mils of olive oil. Beautiful, just like that. Then we have some beautiful homegrown. Oregano, just like that. Put about three, four big chunks like that. We also have our salt. Put about a tablespoon of salt. Another tablespoon of pepper, just like that. So as you can see, I've got all my ingredients in there to make my beautiful marinade. I'm not going to cover the entire leg of lamb with it because obviously I need to keep some for the potatoes. So we'll mix it up just like that and we'll put it to the side just here. Now, it's time to get ready our beautiful leg of lamb. So let's just put it there. Opa. Just like that. Wipe our hands. Now, I'm not going to do much to it. I'm just going to put a couple little holes just like this. One in there, like that, and one in the back, just like that and one just there. And what I'm gonna do is put a couple of bits of garlic, Opa. just like that. See that? In the holes, just push the garlic in and that will create some beautiful smells and aromas while it's cooking and it's gonna infuse all the way through the meat. Now, let's put it straight in the tray, just like that. Opa. And we'll bring it a little bit closer to us. So let's have a bit of a look again on our marinade, our olive oil, lemon, salt, pepper, and oregano. I want to use my finger. Ah, beautiful. I'm going to put a little bit over it, just like this. Opas, just like that. Beautiful. And I'm going to keep the rest all for the potatoes, just like that. Ah, beautiful. Opa, just like that. There we go. Now we're going to put a little bit of water at the bottom of the tray just to keep it moist and we're going to cover this with foil now for around about an hour and we're going to cook it on its own and then we're going to come back and we're going to prepare our potatoes and our onion and obviously the rest of our garlic. There's no point in putting in the potatoes from now because all that's going to happen is they're going to get too soft. Because the total cooking time, as I said earlier, it's going to be around two hours. So putting the potatoes in for two hours is going to just overcook them. So we've got our crossroad barbecue. We've got all our full burners on high and it's sitting on around 350 degrees. And that's what it's going to cook for around two hours. And we're going to cook it again on the top grill. That's one of the benefits of the crossroad barbecue. You can either cook on the bottom grill or you can cook on the top. Time to marinate our potatoes. You come in close. I've got a good bunch of potatoes here. And if you notice, I've cut them all into quarters. Because I don't need them cooking for too long. I'm gonna have them in there in total for around 45 to 50 minutes. So we'll marinate them first, and then I'll explain how we're gonna cook our potatoes. So we had our pre-mix earlier, our olive oil, oregano, salt, pepper, and lemon. And I'm just gonna pour that all over our potatoes, just like that. Oh, bass. That's it. Pour it all in. Beautiful. Just like that. And we're going to mix them around. Just like that. Just to marinate them. I prefer to do it in the bowl, especially when I'm going to be cooking this, this dish. Lemonates patates is what it's called. Lemon potatoes. So, we've got our potatoes now. We'll give a bit of a mix. Make sure they're all coated. Beautiful lemon, olive oil all the salt and pepper in the oregano. We're also going to cut up some onions and we're going to finish it off with some more garlic. But let's get our, let's get our meat out of the crossroad barbecue. It's going to be very hot. 
Oh, it's been in there for around an hour on around 350 degrees on our crossroad barbecue. We are going to put more foil on it again. So we'll try to keep this foil so we don't have to get some more. We'll put it nice and gently under here. And we'll have a bit of a look. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, bah. Oh, bah. Look at that. And you can see at the bottom, it's just got the juices that are just coming from the lamb and a little bit of the water that we had in earlier. So what we'll do is, is we'll just grab our potatoes, put them all the way around, just like this. Beautiful. Well, back. Just like that. We have to leave a little bit of room for our onions, because we know that some family members love, love onions, especially roasted on the Crossray barbecue. Just like that, we'll put the potatoes and that's it there. Now, that's enough, we don't need any more. And we'll just put this beautiful lemon on top as well. Beautiful, just like that. And we'll just put a little bit on the inside. That's it, just like that there. Yeah, we've got that there. We've got our onions. We'll just cut them in half, just like that. And in quarters again, a little bit big these ones, put them in. Just like that, move them around, wherever you want, doesn't matter where you put them, and just cut them in like this, beautiful. And finally, we'll put our garlic. I just like to grab the cloves. It's a homegrown garlic. That's why they're a little bit smaller than normal. The smaller ones, just put them around and get ready for the smells that will come from that garlic. Just like that. Now we've got our foil. We looked up, we kept it. We didn't want to destroy it and save some money there on the foil. So we're going to cover it. We're going to put it back in the Crossroad barbecue with all four burners on high for another half an hour. It's been in there for around one and a half hours on the Crossroad barbecue with all four burners on high. You may have noticed earlier, if you're one of my special viewers, that you would have noticed that I had some spare potatoes. So what I've done is I've made another small little dish as calling it a mazette. And I'll show you that before we take out our lamb roast. I've got it on the side here, just here, and you'll be able to see. Look at that. Oh, bus. And what I've got here is I've got a few potatoes, some hot chilies, tomatoes, and mushrooms. And what we're going to do with that, we're going to leave it in there for another 20 odd minutes while our lamb roast is going to brown. But that's going to be a little mazette we're going to have on the side. So let's put that back in. Because that's going to need a little bit more time. And now we'll take out our roast lamb and have a look and see how it's going. If you remember, we put in our potatoes around about half an hour ago. And we covered it with foil again. Ah, smell that. Beautiful. You can see now. Opa, look at that. Beautiful. You can see now it's ready. It's ready for us to take it off and put it in the Crossray barbecue so we can let all this meat and the potatoes brown up and become nice and golden. So we're gonna put it back in the Crossroad barbecue now for around half an hour. Our lamb roast has been in the Crossroad barbecue for around two hours with all four burners on high. We also had a little mezze put on the side and we should be able to prepare it all together. So let's just take out our mezze first. Come in close and have a look. Oh, bass, look at this. Oh, bass, look at that mezze. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, that smells beautiful. Nice. I can smell the chili. Ah, okay. So this was going to be a last minute decision. We never planned for this. So what we're going to do is make a small mezze. And again, just to remind everyone, I had the leftover potatoes. Oh, but look at all that. The leftover potatoes. I threw in a couple of mushrooms, a couple of fresh tomatoes from the backyard, and a little bit of capsicum. And look what we've made here. A beautiful, beautiful little dish. Just like that. Oh, look at this. And it's a bit of a mazette. You can have a bit of everything. But what Jack the Greek's going to do with this, my little secret under here, is I'm going to grab some beautiful, authentic Greek yogurt. yogurt. So what we're going to do is just put a bit of yogurt on top. And this will be just beautiful. Just like this. We'll open it up. Like that. And we'll grab our spoon. And what we'll do is we'll just put it on the side, just like that. We'll grab a nice pot there. 
and just put it like that. And there we go. And that is our little mezze we made out of some spare potatoes earlier today. Potatoes, some home, homegrown tomatoes, some capsicum, and some hot chilies. Now, for the main dish. Oh, get rid of that. Let's grab that out now. Oh, uh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And if you watch, how all the little parts will just fall off when I grab it. Look at this. Beautiful, just oh, bah, look at that. <laughs> Fantastic, look how the bone just comes straight off the leg. So let's grab our lamb, put it straight in there, just like that. Grab our potatoes, put them around. Put our little bone just there. Can't forget that. It made a sacrifice as well. And put our potatoes in like this. I like to keep my potatoes a little bit on the soft side. Beautiful, just like that. Oopa. The onion you can see is coming through as well now. So we're just finishing up now with our potatoes. We put them in there into our pan. Now, before we do finish, we're just gonna use the bottom of, of what's in this tray on the cross row barbecue like that. We're gonna sit it there for a couple of minutes. And we're gonna let it just warm up again and just sear up like that. And we're gonna remove the tray that I had in there and put it up there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little bit of gravy. So we're gonna mix it up. Just put a little bit of water in there, just mix it around. All right, I'll look at it go. It's that hot that, the, that it's instantaneous. Whew. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'm just going to put that gravy just here. Just like that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Nice and lumpy gravy. Kids will love this. Rob bass. Look at that. There we go. So put that back in here. Drop it in like that. Put it in there. Turn off our crossway barbecue. Put this stuff away, just like that. And here we have our meal. We have our main meal, a beautiful lamb roast with potatoes. We have our gravy here to complement it. And our beautiful mezze that we made on the side, which is but sweet, well, it's not sweet, hot chili potatoes with mushrooms and tomato with a little bit of Greek yogurt. Opas, Jack the Greek.